Yeah, immensely frustrating um, because when I watched the game back, we actually played well. Um, I know it's ironic to say we played well, but but didn't score. But you know, I think you always look at games and you look at how many chances you create. You know, when we've lost games at home, which we've lost too many so far this season. But when you when you lose games at home um, and don't create enough chances, then that's when you start to worry. When you actually create quite a lot of opportunities, you know, I think 22 in total. Um, and we really should have stuck one of those away. I think the keeper makes five or six really, really good saves. Um, and we've created chances to their death. So I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed with it. But again, that, that sometimes happens. Um, and I think it's unfortunate for us that it's happened at the end of, you know, what's probably been not a particularly great run at home. Um, so therefore it then gets thrown in with all of those sort of poor performances, really. And it obviously makes it more difficult when the opposition are coming along to St Andrews and basically coming to defend and hope they get a break away. Yeah, but again, that's 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 every team's prerogative. You know, we know it's going to happen. We've done it, you know, to other teams for 12 months now, and they've struggled to break us down. So, you know, knowing what someone's going to do and dealing with it is is sort of one or two different things, you know. So, um, but we got to we got to find a way to win those games. I didn't I didn't actually think Charlton did that particularly. Um, you know, as much as some of the other teams that did it, you know, certainly didn't do it as much as Nottingham Forest. Um, and we created lots of really good opportunities, you know. We showed the lads before what we needed to do, they did it. I think ultimately it was just that final bit, you know, John Torrell has a wonderful chance second half that normally he'd bury all day long and those things weren't happening for us. Sometimes like you have to accept it, they're an honest bunch. Um, that's just the way it is, you know. I mean, you've, you've, you've said in, in past press conferences that, you know, the, the, the squad you've got, other teams can cope with losing two or three or four players. Yeah. You not so much, we're in that point now where yeah. obviously Clayton's out for six weeks. Uh, and and Dave Cottrell's out, out as well. And, yeah. And then everybody else is, is, is not feeling the moment, but. Uh, how, are you, how are you coping with that? Well, I think you know I've said it. I've said it all along that you know if we've got a fully fit squad, which I know is is a luxury not many people have for long periods. But if we had a fully fit squad, I could almost say hand on heart where I think we'd have a chance of finishing. I think this, the 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 um, where we finish this season is going to be based on how we navigate these difficult periods because of course it's it's probably harder for us to navigate them than some other clubs. Um, but what I would say is again, um, you know, I spoke to the club about the immediate situation in terms of replacing Clayton. Um, they, they've been brilliant, you know, they've, they've, they've found um, or, we, you know, provided funds to do that. So, um, you know, and we will, you know, we, we've, we will bring players in in this um, tr emergency let loan deadline. Um, and I think, I think depending on how many number of players we bring in will be dictated to by other clubs' willingness to let their best players go. And I think that's what it's going to come down to. If you look at the last loan window, um, I don't think many Premier League strikers, for example, moved because it's not, it doesn't need to be a financial one for them. So they can just keep the players till January and then look at what's best then when they've got a chance to replace them. So um, that's where we are. You know, like I said, we're in a position where we can certainly strengthen. I've said that for a few weeks. Um, you know, we're actually in a very good position to strengthen. So, um, you know, it's really positive. I mean, the deadline's almost upon us. So how many, how many will you be bringing in, can you say? Yes, I mean we've we've um, we've just I can I can tell you about two deals. Um, you know we've we brought Greg Halford in, or we're in the process of bringing Greg Halford in from Rotherham, um, who, who I feel certainly has underperformed there for uh, since he's gone there. He's one we looked at in the summer, down just because of his size, versatility, championship experience. Um, he's got a long throw, so he ticks quite a lot of different boxes for us. Um, and again, they'd just be for the um, till January. Um, also, James Vaughan. Um, as well, will be joining hopefully, um, and and again that's another one where he's played at the highest level. Um, it's been really really good. Um, so uh, you know again we want to try and kickstart his his season. Um, you know his family are Birmingham fans, which was a big motivation behind that as well. Um, so yeah, so again we'll hopefully get those two, and we and we would bring another one in as well. You know, I mean, and that's I, 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 the rumor about you looking at um, the out of favour Villa striker. Yeah, again, without me naming names, um, that, that's that's the type of player that we would bring in also, and we're, we're we're in a position where we can do that, and it's just going to be literally a time thing down to whether we can persuade a a player or b the club um, to to part with a player of that quality, you know, and that's 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 what's going to be down to. 
uh, looking ahead to Brighton then, your, your away form is, is brilliant. Yeah. Um, is it a good position to be in that you're actually playing the, the sort of second in the league? Well, I said, this yeah, well, I think, um, you know, certainly anyone away from home, we've, like you say, we've got the best away record in the division. That's certainly going to be tested against Brighton and, and Middlesbrough. Our next two away games, we know they're going to be tough games. Um, but I think for us, in some ways, that we, w- we would probably rather at this moment be going to play a very, very good Brighton side, uh, managed, of course, by Chris, who, who, who we know all about. You know, he's a really good guy. And, built a great squad uh, than perhaps playing bottom three team at home which is really ironic you know because that's 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 where we are at this moment in time so so yeah listen we'll certainly go there and relish the game um, as we know it's going to be a tough game uh, but I saw them against Burnley and, and we've seen them over the past month they've done brilliant um, but they're a good team you know they haven't done they haven't they're not up there by chance they're up there because they're a very very good and very organised team